Well, it is a very major threat which is taking place now. The presence of drones in the waters uh, of the Arabian Sea and of the, Arabi uh, of the uh, Indian Ocean. And let me explain to you by a look at this map on where it's happening and what the concern is. When the Houthis started attacking maritime targets in the Red Sea, it's been happening now for the last month plus, these are the areas where they have been targeting ships, all right? These are the areas where they have been targeting ships, right into the Gulf of Aden. And these are fairly constant drone attacks, sometimes ballistic missile attacks, cruise missile attacks as well. Where are the Houthis in terms of Yemen, the areas that they control over here? Roughly, this is the part of um, Yemen controlled by the Houthis, which is why they have this threat. Now, the ship MV Kem Pluto, which limped back to Mumbai yesterday, right, uh, with a huge gash in its turn, was at this location that I marked over here when it was struck by a drone. We know it was struck by a drone because that's what the Indian Navy has confirmed. This is approximately, if you look at it like this, the gap between Iran and this area, more than 800 and 30 kilometers. So the point being made is, if it was, in fact, something fired in the direction of Iran, the Iranians have denied it completely. That's more than 830 kilometers away. So where exactly has that come from? That is something which uh, they're actually trying to find out quite clearly. Now, this ship has managed to get back with this drone attack. What the Indian Navy has done is that they have surged warships, several of them, in this area. And ultimately, India will need to take a call on whether we are going to deploy in the Red Sea itself. If we operate in the Red Sea, then there is a 200 kilometer radius, approximately like this, where short range drones are targeting ships. It's already a shooting match. A US destroyer, the USS Kearney, has intercepted more than 38 drones and cruise missiles fired from Houthi targets in this particular area. If we move our warships into this skill zone, then we will need to intercept incoming drones and cruise missiles itself. But the Indian Navy may be obliged to do that. And let me explain to you why. The reason we are talking about all of this is simply because these waterways from the Gulf of Aden all the way to ports in India and indeed from the Persian Gulf all the way to India are critical lines of commerce for India. 90% of all uh, trade for India comes through the maritime route. 70% of all trade by terms of value comes from the maritime route, which is why this entire area is absolutely critical, absolutely critical for India and our economic interests. Mm. That's what we are talking about.